in times of trouble be careful of the prayers that you pray while you are in trouble if you don't know how to turn darkness to light how are you doing guys welcome again to direct tv bringing you the truth welcome guys to this special and wonderful episode of my video today all right in today's video guys i'm here with the man of god by personal um, prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa and also the man of God Reverend Dr. Chris Oyaklimeti CTSCDD. And in today's video, guys, I'm here to bless you. I'm here to bless you with this video. You see, um, there are some um, people that when they are in trouble, they begin to pray some prayer. You see, there are some people that when once something happened to them, they begin to confess something. They begin to confess negative things upon their life. They begin to say, oh, I want to kill myself. I want to die. I want to this. I'm dead. And all that, you see. But in today's video, when once you are done, you understand why your confession is so important. All right. When you are in trouble. And you see, when you are in trouble, you know, you are so eager. You are so wanting to do a lot of things. But listen to this, guys. I first of all, I'd like you to listen to the man of the prophet, man of Makandewa. And I'll be right back. Don't forget to hit the like button and also kindly subscribe to this channel. Watch this. In times of trouble, be careful of the prayers that you pray while you are in trouble. Be careful. Because when these problems are happening, what the devil is trying to make you doubt is the very presence of God. Because it's a sign that you have been abandoned by God and when he can get you to feel like that he can cause you to pray now like that it has to come first as a feeling that you have been abandoned no trouble will ever be allowed to trouble anyone unless God is very present in that trouble He's our very present, present help. help. Where? In trouble. In, not even outside, in trouble. The way it was structured is so smart. Whenever you find trouble, he's there. You are in the fire, in the furnace, he's there. There is always the fourth man in trouble, in the fire. So what he has done so far, in making sure that he's forever he's very present he makes sure that every trouble every all the you can list all of the troubles i know some of you the way that you're looking at me and saying prophet no no prophet, let, you don't let's, understand let's, the trouble that i mean let's 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 try to stick to the scripture that's exactly what killed jesus it was never the nails never the spear he said you have forsaken me you have forsaken me and death arrived Had jesus said you are with me until today you have been hanging on the cross breathing he knows exactly what he did what he said to make sure that he died that's why he said you did not kill you did not take a you cannot take my life from me i have to lay it down myself so he knows the code he knows what to say he knows what to say do you remember an old message that i once preached about the revelation of the wife of job how many of you can remember? The woman came to the husband and said, Kiss God and die. The man was sick enough. The man had lost everything. Yet the woman knew that it's not a disease that will kill you. It's a confession. Job 2 verse 9. Then uh -huh. his wife said unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Mm. Curse God and die. And live. And die. No disease will ever kill you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's what, that's what she's saying. Thank you. No asthma will ever take you. No high blood pressure will ever. No cancer will take your life. Thank that's you. what she said. What kills you? What empowers cancer is a confession. 
curse God and a disease will capitalize on that confession it's not your problem that will kill you it is what you confess during problems curse God and die and die if she knew that diseases were going to kill the husband she was just supposed to wait but she re she knows deeper truths confess negative and then death is coming you have forsaken me and death comes that's why the question i was asking you if you are in trouble what do you say when you are in fire you tell him it's not just the fire that i can feel i feel you i feel you in this it's an acknowledgement of the very presence of god in your situation something tells me you are here yes yea though i walk through the valley i know it's a valley i would rather not call it of death but it's a shadow wow. i don't want to confirm death has come it's a shadow i'm dealing with a shadow of cancer it's a shadow of poverty it's not the actual thing i would treat it as a shadow i will fear no no evil, evil. the reason being for thou, thou art, art with me you are present there is a truth to the scripture that says let the sick say let the weak yes. say it's not just a positive confession no this is what empowers you against weakness it empowers you against weakness let the weak say i am, am strong. strong it's not just a wow. confession no the bible talks about speaking those things that are not as though they were yeah. ah. my revelations are i know pedigree you can go yes these revelations will turn your whole world upside down to think that they are things that are not huh? romans 4 verse 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations mm. before him whom he believed even before God, him whom he believe uh -huh. even god who quickeneth the dead the dead he quickens the the dead uh-huh and calleth those things which be not as though they were calling what those things there is a those things they are things yet they are not those things you can point at them and you know they are things yet they are not wow, wow, wow. and those things can be called calling those things that are not as though they were yeah. things still in the class of not simply because you haven't called them things today that are not because you have not called them your success today is not because you have not your marriage today is a not because you have not 
Yet these things can be called calling, calling, calling. All right, guys, there you have it with um, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Oh my goodness, this is message that uplifts your soul. You still have the man of God, Pastor Chris, to deal with, okay? So, because you are going to be, I'm sure you are already blessed. And if you are watching this video and you have gotten to this point, I'll kindly like you to go to the comment section and, you know, tell me what has blessed you. You see, when you people comment what has blessed you like this, it keeps me encouraged on what next to bring to you. All right, you can't listen to a message like this and not be blessed. See this specifically to your confession when you are in trouble. And I'm sure that you have learned a lot from Prophet Emmanuel Makandewa, which I will talk more on what has also blessed me in the last part of the video. So I'd like you to listen to the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, as he speaks. But don't forget, if this is your first time on my channel, hit the subscribe button. And all of you like today's video, guys. Watch this. I'll be right back. Family, guys, there you have it with um, Emmanuel Makandewa, Prophet Emmanuel and Makandewa, and the man of God by person of Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakiluma, DSC, DSC, DD. I'm sure you were blessed by those two messages i'm sure you were so blessed now i'd like to share with you what has actually blessed me and before i do that for you that have listened to this video i trust you are blessed so you just have to go to the comment section and share with me what has blessed you too because as you do so i actually get encouraged to post too i get encouraged to do more to bring more of such videos for you and specifically when you mention the part that blessed you so you don't just watch a video and leave but you give feedback you see feedback helps for you know improvement it helps to you know know what to do all right if necessary you see so i'm very very much aware that you should go do that now so go to the comment section and share with me what has equally blessed you as you listen to my own part you see what has actually blessed me is the fact that our confession matters a lot when we are actually in trouble you see there are a lot of us that sometimes when the when trouble happens to us or we are facing the particular difficulties you know we we begin to complain you begin to pray exceeding fearless prayer you see you begin to see a lot of things maybe um, um maybe you are going through a, a difficult financial situation in in our lives sometimes we begin to curse ourselves sometimes some people will say i want to die some people some people will start cursing death to themselves proclaiming death to their life you see and these are the things that these men of god have won against but through praise you can actually come out from such situation and situation so as a christian it is very important that we learn this is the truth all right so people always say um I'm, I'm telling you the truth now this is my problem i don't have any money something like that you see they will, they will try to make it look like you don't have money but the truth is that as a christian you don't lack you don't always confess any negative things upon your life right always confess the right thing because when you confess those right things you are actually calling them forth all right that's why you are as a christian you don't when you are in a particular situation don't don't focus on you know claiming that thing that is happening now see the bible tells us that we call for those things as be not that be not as do they were you see and that's our life too and you too that's your life so the 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 the, 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 the problem you are facing now is that you call for what you want to see the changes you want to see not that you call for um, i'm facing this no call for what you want to see if there's no money in your pocket call for money call for the amount of money you want and keep the confession all right but don't proclaim the exact situation thank you so much guys for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing my next video for those of you coming new to my channel just click the subscribe button subscribe and then like today's video guys i'll see you in my next video bye